Let's talk about flow patterns. We're going to be talking about swirling, vortex, dead points, eddies, and stagnation. Actually, stagnation and dead points are pretty similar. Vortex and eddies formation is also pretty similar. So, let's say we have this flow pattern, swirling. You start moving and moving and moving, and you will see this little vortex formation. Hopefully you mixed something and the more you mix you more or you watch this little formation of vortex. You use baffles to avoid that so they crash and they get back. So that's why we use, we use baffles to avoid swirling or vortex formation. You can see here also to avoid only this flow you want to generate more random chaotic flow. That's swirling. We have plenty of swirling here. For example, we got this. This is our mixer and it starts moving very, very fast. And of course, you don't want to formate, uh, sorry, to form this. You want it to mix everywhere. So, for example, this is salt. If you start mixing very, very fast, so fast that it forms a swirl, you're not going to mix it. You're going to form this little like, tornado. There's a real life shrill. You have the solid, you want to mix it uniformly. So, what do you do? You start mixing it. But the problem here is that you are generating a shrill. More example on shrilling. And that's actually everything I wanted to show you. I thought you, I was going to show you dead points. Where do we have dead points? Well, we have dead points here because they got stuck. Here, that point is any point in which the velocity or the momentum profile is very low. Actually, we have many here because the impropeller works more here, but here you're going to have that point. That point here will actually were not to see. You have that point all the way here. What else? Well, the stagnation is when you get your impeller the instant or the moment in which the fluid crashes or collides with the propeller right here you're going to have some seconds or microseconds of stagnation and that might increase the temperature of the mixture depending on how sensitive it is and it is very critical especially when you are mixing uh, for a reactor if you want to keep it low profile the temperature or the mass gradient you're going to check out this which is the best impeller in order to avoid that eddies is nothing more that little swirls format for example you're going to form one eddy right here one eddy right here you can even think as eddies as weird pools so this is one eddy this is another eddy and of course you have eddies inside eddies the thing here is how to model eddies and that's everything I wanted to show you on flow patterns. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps. You have it here, the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you're, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here. And you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.